Cleaning the inside of your PlayStation console is the best way to ensure its cooling efficiency and prevent unwanted electronic components failure due to overheating. I'm Max from Lifehacker Max and since I've been receiving such a positive feedback on my PS4 cleaning tutorial, I thought, why not clean my PlayStation 3 as well? So, in this video I will take apart my super slim PlayStation 3 console in order to clean it. First thing I'm doing is to remove the hard drive cover located on the top side of the console next to the disk drive. I'm putting a bit of pressure on it and dragging it towards the back side of the console. For the disassembly I used a T9 Torx security bit and a Philips PH0 bit. A Torx security screw has a small pin in the middle that needs a special security bit. As you can see, this bit has a hole in the middle. On the bottom of the console there are four Phillips screws. Your console should have some small rubber feet that are covering three of the screws. The fourth screw is covered by the warranty seal sticker. You can easily remove the rubber feet using a small flat screwdriver. Next step, the two plastic covers. The one located on the side with the power button is a bit tricky to remove. I lift up the first half and then slide the panel away from the power button. The back panel has a small plastic pin that keeps it in place. I simply press on it and then the cover slides off immediately. Underneath the two panels there are five more screws that need to be removed, four in the front and one in the back. There are two more screws inside the disk drive that hold the top cover in place. With those out of the way, I lift up the back side of the cover and then the cover comes off easily. To take the power supply out, I unplug the connection from the motherboard and unscrew the two screws that hold it in place. I pull the power supply up and inspect it for dust. Clean if necessary with a brush and by blowing the dust away. The disk drive has three ribbons connected to the motherboard. The smaller ones will come off just by pulling them out of their socket, but the larger one has a security tab that keeps the ribbon in place. The tab needs to be pulled up before pulling on the ribbon. Next, I unscrew the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas and unplug the fan from the motherboard. Looking at it now, I think the two antennas don't really need to be unscrewed from their place. After I unscrew this little screw right here, I am hoping that this is the part where I can take out the fan casing, clean the fan and the radiator and be done with it. Well, it appears that you need to take apart the whole console in order to get to the fan and the radiator. So, on I go with the disassembly. 
I am removing the power button by disconnecting the simple ribbon from the motherboard and sliding it upwards from its place. To take the system out from the bottom cover, I need to unscrew 6 more screws. and 6 more screws to reveal the motherboard. The hard drive is connected to the motherboard and needs to come out as well to be able to take the upper metallic plate off. I unplug all the wires from the motherboard. Remember which color wire goes where on the antennas. When you take the upper plate off the motherboard, you also take apart the heatsink from the processor and the graphic chip. It would be advised to change the thermal paste on them, especially if it hasn't been done before. It is not that hard to do, but I'm not covering this part in this video as I recently replaced the thermal paste on my components. On the inside of the metallic plate, there are three more screws that hold the fan casing in place. Once those are out of the way, I can access the fan and the radiator for some cleaning. I used window cleaning solution sprayed on a microfiber piece of cloth to wipe the dust off the plastic parts. After everything is nice and clean, reversing the process and putting everything back together should be easy. You can go along with the rest of the video if you don't want to miss the order. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I will let you know whenever I post a new video. I'm making videos on various topics, so be sure to check out my channel for all kinds of cool videos, ideas, life hacks and more. If you like my videos, please consider supporting the channel by becoming a Patreon. You will find the link in the description. I'm Max from Lifehacker Max and I hope this video will help you guys with your dust situation. Thank you for watching.